Hey bikes, in today's show we'll talk about two new teachers, the Superintendent Advisory Council, and we want you to interact in our social media regarding our first home football game. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. I'm Jessica. I'm Haley, and here's your daily announcements. Jessica, have you seen any new teachers around? Actually, I have. I got to know Miss Schultz. So let's go see what she's all about. We have another new teachers. This one is about Miss Schultz. I um, provide support for students here at the school, whether it's for emotional needs, yes. stuff for IEP, academics, um, really kind of anything. I chose Seaman um, because I've heard really good things about the school district. Um, it's a larger school, but it kind of reminds me from um, my hometown, which is like a smaller school district, um, so it still has that like small town feel. I went to Paola High School. Ms. Schultz can be found in her office located in the Career and Life Planning Center. If you see her, make sure to wish her a happy rest of the year. My favorite sonic drink is probably blackberry green tea or raspberry green tea. Semen, obviously, um, but also uh, I like the Chiefs, the Royals, KU. Really anything that's on Netflix, I'll like binge watch. Mexican or pasta, when people eat with their mouth open. Make sure you go and give her a big Viking welcome. The Viking brew is up and running. If you need a coffee in the morning, Monday through Friday, it opens at 7.15. Blue Out is the theme for tonight's home football game against Highland Park. Here's Kaylee with some more social media information to tag along with the game. Hey Vikes, our first football game is tonight at home versus Highland Park, and we want to see your school spirit. Make sure to tag at TV on your Instagram post for a chance to be put on here next week. And remember, the theme is Blue Out. Make sure you tag us in your post. The speed limit in the parking lot is 10 miles per hour. Also, there's a school zone on Rochester and 50th Street. The Sheriff's Office will be running radar on both of these streets. We'll be back with Jessica after this quick commercial break. Why are you late, man? Sorry, I was signing up for clubs, like foreign language club. And I'm really happy about this club. And then? I signed up for fishing club. And then? Oh, uh, and then I signed up for book club. And then? Next, I signed up for our club. And then? And then I became a family leader joining FCCLA. And then? Finally, I joined Dungeons and Dragons club. And that's not even half of the clubs. There's so many you can join. If you are interested in the Boston and New York trip, there is a meeting in the library tomorrow at 6 o'clock. See Mr. McAllister for further details. Tryouts for the Scholars Bowl will be held in room 920 from 715 to 745 on September 9th and 10th. See Marsh Bank for any questions. If you are interested in being one of the eighth students on the Student Advisory Council, Ali has more information about it. 
Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mr. Monahan to talk about the Superintendent Council. So what is it? Well, it's a council that Dr. Noble started three years ago because he wanted input from students about how things are going in the in the campus and also mm -hmm. to get ideas about things they might want to see happen. So the Career and Life Planning Center, for example, kind of came from students talking about the need for mm -hmm. greater access to counseling services. So that's that kind of came from their ideas. Also a way to get to know students. And I know that the food is really good. They always bring snacks. Or this year, they're going to bring lunch because they're going to go with third period lunch and kelp time together to meet. So uh, it's really a great way to get to know the superintendent, but also have some influence on how things are going in the school. OK, awesome. There's an application process posted on Schoology. Make sure and check that out if you're interested. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to apply if you are interested. We have another new teacher, Mrs. Scott. Let's go check it out. Recently, the SEMA district has hired a new psychologist to help students around the school. I serve as a school psychologist for the high school as well as Pleasant Hill Learning Campus. Every day is definitely different. Um, so school psychs are involved in a lot of different things in a lot of different areas. Um, so we help out um, system-wide, to system level or school-wide. Um, we may help out um, in the classroom and at the individual level with individual students to try to help meet every individual's needs. Um, so we work with general education teachers, special education teachers, administrators. A school psychologist has many different roles to fill to help students with different learning needs. Every student's different and everyone has a unique learning style and different learning needs. Um, so I just want to be a part of the team um, to help each student be successful and reach their potential and not um, just simply be successful at school but um, develop those skills and abilities to be successful outside of school and after school as well. So currently since I'm new to the field and new to the district, I guess I'm just kind of in survival mode right now, um, but everyone's been really helpful and really patient. Um, so I just want to continue to um, grow and develop as a school psych. And you go see her and welcome her in the building. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day and a great weekend. Don't forget to attend the football game.